Hi darlings, how are you doing? How are you doing? Look at moi. I have a new hairstyle. It's time to be bald, you know. So I just decided that, oh God, I just need some baldness. But at the back, I don't know, because I used a hair remover, like the gel, you know. So I don't know if I, okay, let me just be vulnerable. And I'm going to just have baldness to show you how it looks at the back. But I know I messed up, but okay, okay. Mm, so I'll, I'll, I'll finish it later, you know. I'm just waiting for someone to... We're we going somewhere. All right, let me get into this. I have decided to do a series about getting to know the Queen of Zimbabwe. A lot of people, they think they know me. They don't. Most of the people who know who I am is people on the social media. And people on the social media, they don't know the man I was when I used to live my life as a man. And my relatives in Zimbabwe, in diaspora, my father in the UK, my mom in Zimbabwe, they are the ones who know the Tatenda Christopher Karagama. So it's going to be a roller coaster of just being open to you. I feel like I am at a moment of time where I have done so much of evolving to become me as a discourse. Of Zimbabwe and there are two sides of my life which people have to understand so let me just start by saying uh, who is family I think that's uh, an important thing where we need to dissect to say when the Queen of Zimbabwe is defining family who is the family of the Queen of Zimbabwe so I'll name my family number one my mom Ashumba and my father, Matemai Senior, Tanya, my son, my twin sister, Tefadzwa, my elder sister, Yvonne, my elder brother, Evans, my baby mama, she's my family, Tekla, and the most important part of my family, social media, people. So for those people who have this unwavering questions to say, why do Tartalicious, the Queen of Zimbabwe, gives a lot of information to people on social media? It's because they are my immediate family. The people on social media who began to know me, I started journey on social media in 2013. A big shout out to Nico Abbott and Thomas Chijanji. If Nico Abbott and Thomas Chijanji didn't navigate me in the ways of information and dissemination on social media, they won't be the queen of Zimbabwe, Queen Tatalicious, Baba, Tanya, Homwe, Yenika. So a big shout out to Thomas Janje and Nico Abbott. So what happened is 2018, they're talking about LGBTI. Mugabe was still alive. May your soul rest in peace, continue to rest in peace. Your Excellency, Dr. Robert Mugabe. And you know, the narrative then, when people just mumbled the issue of LGBTIQA, they would say, pigs, dogs. Because this is the propaganda that the then president of Zimbabwe, the late Dr. R.G. Mugabe said, they are worse pigs and dogs. So here was this conversation Nico Abbott and uh, Thomas Chijanje were having, typing blah, 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 blah. We don't have people like that in Zimbabwe. Mm. And there comes this young boy. Her name, oh, his name, Tatenda, Christopher Kari Gambe. And said, no, 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 no. I'm a man. 
but I feel like I'm a woman. You understand? And no, I didn't have all these necessities like this vagina and this lovely boobs, thanks to Sweden. But I jumped in the conversation and said, I live in Zimbabwe. I live in Budiriro too. I run a canteen at the backyard of my mother's house. And I am a woman in a man's body. Then that's where the story began. See you on episode two. Don't miss it. It's going to be fantastic. I love you, darlings, and uh, enjoy your happiness. Goodbye. <laughs>